with this song, the first note is a dotted quarter note, and that one's just a half beat longer than your um, typical quarter note. So you're going to hold it just a little longer, so it's going to... So you're going to, um, then the second note would be a little shorter. Alright, try that with me again. Alright, and then we can add the beat, the D at the end. Okay, um, so anytime that you see that, that is how that would sound, alright? Even also like a little couple measures afterwards with the G, A, F, D, alright? Um, in the next measure, you'll, or in the next line, sorry, um, measure six, you'll see a three and a long line leading after that. Um, that just tells you to keep your third finger down on the D because you're going to be going to the A string and then coming back immediately. All right. And you could keep that finger down. All right. The last two measures, the, the, the dynamics does change. So make sure to get softer and that would be your bow would move closer from the bridge to the fingerboard okay um, and then the second line the last line is very similar to the first line in rhythm and in notes the only difference is that the last um, few mm, the last few notes you can actually slow down that's what poco writ writ um, is is short for ritardando which is Italian for slow down all right so because you're like slowing down you're signaling that it's the final end of the piece um, so I hope these tips helped and if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me or get a hold of me at rehearsals or lessons. All right? Bye.